winds starting out in the upper 20s. We're taking a live look outside in Jackson where it's currently 27 degrees. It is cold this morning, but as you can see on the camera out there, we do have plenty of sunshine. That means we will be warming up later this afternoon pretty quickly as well. Currently outside though, still this morning you're going to need the coat because it is cold. 28 degrees outside in Mason, the same in Charlotte, 30 the current temperature this morning in Lansing. It's 27 in Jackson, the same in Marshall, 25 actually one of our colder spots outside this morning in Hillsdale Inn and cold water. Again, as I mentioned with all of that sunshine, although it's cold this morning, we do warm up pretty efficiently. Highs reach to around 51 degrees this afternoon under mostly sunny skies. Overall, it really should be a nice day by mid November standards. Winds will be light coming in from the south at about five miles an hour, and it should be pleasant if you do want to be outside. Not too much of a chill to the air tonight. We drop down to around 35 degrees and we'll start to notice an increase in cloud cover. We do have another cold front expected to move through tonight. That'll bring with it the chance for a few showers, most of which will mainly come through early Friday morning. For today, we enjoy the sunshine mainly thanks to high pressure. As that system continues to slide off to the east, that cold front off to our west will move in again later tonight slash early Friday morning. It does have a chance to spark a few showers early tomorrow. For the most part, though, rain will be far and few between and you'll be lucky if you see any showers. So look at our future track where for today we have plenty of sunshine. Thankfully, that does help us give a boost in temperatures. Highs reach to around 50 degrees, which is pretty close to average for this time of the year. We normally see high an average high of about 49 degrees. As we go overnight, we will start to notice a general increase in cloud cover. Showers hold off probably until early Friday morning. I think the best time for any rain will be between 3 a.m. to 7 a.m., so a short time window. And again, notice if you do see any showers, they're going to be very brief and very light, and we should be dry probably by the time we hit 9 o'clock in the morning. From there, clouds hang on for a few hours, but then we should break out into some sunshine Friday afternoon. Unfortunately, tomorrow looks like it will be relatively chilly highs only reaching into the low 40s. We enjoy sunshine at least for the first half of the day Saturday before clouds build, followed by a few showers that evening. So our seven day forecast tomorrow, partly cloudy and a high of 42 Saturday, a high of 45. We're dry during the day Saturday, but then we see yet another front come through Saturday evening, a carry over into the day on Sunday. And so we are expecting scattered showers for the first day of firearm season, a high of 54 on Sunday. And then early next week, well, you're going to want the coat again because it looks like it will be pretty chilly. Highs will struggle to reach the low 40s Monday and Tuesday, a high of 43, but there will be some sunshine next Wednesday. Sunshine. We are running <laughs> with that.